have begun to feel that uh, the election process is not everything it should be. A number of citizens have complained to me about uh, people who were not members of the Democratic Party on May the 4th being allowed to vote in the Democratic runoff election on June 1st. It is illegal in Texas for a person to participate in uh, the primary or conventions of more than one political party in the same year. And that carries a fine of from $100 to $500 uh, and uh, imprisonment in jail not to exceed 60 days or both. Now, how does your uh, system operate? Do you have your own pickup and delivery? We operate on the same basic principle that the post office does, except with, with businessmen with their own money invested in it operating in it and we have our men carry cover geographic routes like the u.s mailmen and we have our own trucks in the state of oklahoma we have uh, 40 trucks operating in the case of dallas it will be about a hundred trucks I was involved with the uh, Kennedy campaign. Well, he was a very good friend of mine. And uh, so far, uh, since since the incident, uh, I'm just looking around. I'm shopping around now. There, uh, and as I say, these two uh, people, these people who voted in either of these two primaries, constitute 90% of the uh, violations which my investigation indicates have occurred. The reason I turned the matter over to the grand jury is because the grand jury has the power to subpoena witnesses and to compel testimony. And under our Constitution and law, the grand jury is charged with the responsibility of investigating any alleged illegal conduct to determine whether or not the law has been violated. And if it has, I have confidence that this grand jury of ours in Dallas County We'll investigate it, and if there have been violations, we'll return indictments against those people whom the evidence justifies returning indictments against. various agencies will need the same basic forms of information. They need information about the way land is used. They need information about uh, transportation and hospital facilities and so forth. And they're being collected probably by many different agencies. The county assessor has his records. The uh, licensing people have their own records. And uh, you find the same information that if it could be stored in a centralized form, would have uh, immediate access and equal access by everyone concerned. Well, ever, ever since I uh, took office in 1965, I have not been satisfied with the cleanliness of the county buildings. So we made a survey recently of the downtown buildings, and we have found out that uh, by contracting janitorial services, uh, that they have been getting a uh, better service at a lesser cost, uh, from 30 to 36 cents for janitorial contract services in the downtown buildings, and we are paying about 50 cents per square foot. This morning, you asked for an investigation of the space used by the title companies. Uh, what uh, is your reason behind this? 
Well, we are providing uh, approximately 6,000 feet for 11 title companies. Uh, the county of Dallas needs its space. Uh, uh, I'm uh, designated to uh, meet with the title company representatives and see if we can work out a uh, solution to uh, the space. Because the people are not trained properly or is this because they're not really doing their jobs? Uh, well, they're not doing their job for the simple reason that they're not trained uh, for janitorial services. And uh, contract services are uh, professional people and they do a better job. And people that uh, you hire, you might say from the street, uh, they do not do not know uh, uh, how to clean a building. So uh, not only can we get a better job by contracting services, uh, it will be at a lesser cost to the county taxpayers. Now another problem that you have been investigating and brought into Commissioner's Court this morning was that of uh, the title companies having space in our county records building. Mm -hmm. uh, what uh, have you found in your investigation there? Well, we found out that uh, there's approximately 39 employees uh, uh, and 11 title companies uh, with a space of approximately 6,000 feet. And uh, in other counties, uh, Harris County and Bear County, they have about 12 uh, employees and they furnish about uh, 600 square feet plus enough. the individual. Uh, our rates are two point we compete on the basis of free enterprise as opposed to a monopolistic system or a federally run system. Well now how can you legally do this? Uh, I believe there's not supposed to be any competition at all with the United States government. Uh, no, that isn't so. We are operating within the law. And the post office only has a monopoly in the area of first class mail, or as the, the law states, in the area of letters. Mr. Mancini, would a big band sound ever come back? That's a switch. <laughs> oh, <laughs> big switch. Let's talk about changing subjects. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, well, uh, I don't know. It depends on. Uh, it, it's always been with us, but never. I don't think it'll ever come back like it was in the in the forties when I was weaned on it. You know, big bands. Uh, I conducted a big band last night at the Minneapolis Symphony. If you want to talk about big bands, yeah. and I've got a large orchestra. I've got forty men playing here in Dallas with uh, Sergio Mendez Friday night. You have been quoted as saying that a mm -hmm. statement by a top McCarthy aide would do nothing but hurt your local McCarthy group efforts in Dallas. How do you think this will hurt your efforts? Well, I honestly don't. I mean, uh, if I was quoted as such, I think perhaps it was taken out of context because I don't believe it will have any real effect on our effort in Dallas. I don't think it will stop our campaign in the slightest. What was your initial feeling upon hearing the statement that Dallas would be the last on the list of Texas cities that the senator might visit? Well, initially, I suppose you'd have to say I was a little surprised, but uh, as I've come to realize, it's only a personal feeling of uh, the man who made the statement. 